In this tutorial, I will show you how to deploy Executable JavaFX19 application. So let's name uh, JavaFX project. JavaFX Hello World. Everything I will keep it as it is. I'm using JDK19 latest version. Next, without any dependencies. You may need to wait for a while. I'm using a uh, Maven build system with the uh, latest IntelliJ. Let's build the project. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, it works. So next one, let me change one thing here. As you can see, we have a source file. Set title, let me say hello, JavaFX. You actually need one more Java class so that you can create the executive Java file that actually learn a hello application Java. So let's create new Java class. I will call it as an app class. Okay, this is a command line, publish that deploy main. Name of the class and main arguments. That's it. Go to the project structure. I'm using Maven build, so we don't have to do anything. Artifacts, char, model with dependencies, select the main class, the class you just created, app class, OK, OK. You may need to add a file. Try to locate JavaFX SDK directory where you have um, JavaFX library. Just look at the binary. We are going to add all these DLL files. They can be um, distributed with uh, our applications. Let's build. So if you look at under the project, Now we have a new directory called out. Let's open a jar file with uh, Windows Explorer. Now when you double click it, it will launch it. Hello. Okay, it works. So if you look at the title, let me just uh, close it. Bring it a bit down and see and uh, set title. I changed to hello JavaFX. Okay, next one we are going to do without module. So let's remove module info. Make sure you use a refactor. Save delete. Okay. So once you remove module, try to rebuild your project. It seems to be okay, so let's try to learn it. Now it says that uh, error, JavaFX runtime components are missing. So you need to um, add JavaFX runtime components when you run your project. So let's go to Edit, Configuration, Add New Run Configuration, Application, Let's name it as uh, same as uh, our project name. You can name anything you want. Main class. Hello application. Okay. Here's the one we need to use add VM options. To say that when you run a uh, Java file, 
when you launch Java FX project, you need to use external module. Module pass. In my case, my Java FX SDK on the library is located here. So copy, paste it. Then we are using uh, two modules. Modules. JavaFX controls and JavaFX FXML. Apply, OK. Run it. OK, now it works. So, this is how you build um, your project with uh, Mavens with a module. Okay, let's look at here. Okay, how do we actually build the uh, artifacts? Let's remove because because we're going to build a new artifacts. So let's say build artifacts. This time we are doing non-modular. Okay, it works. Try again. Explore, double click, it still works as it is. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to use a Maven build with without uh, modular programming. Thank you. IntelliJ uh, has uh, native build support. So let's remove the Maven support, all of them. Now we are going to use our own JavaFX library. I assume you have already downloaded and installed JavaFX library. So in my case, it's on the Java directory. JavaFX SDK 19 uh, library. Okay, okay. This is the library I have on my laptop. Apply, OK. Let's uh, rebuild project. OK, it built. Before I learn it, let me show you. Um, I do have uh, VM options. OK, previously I set up with the uh, Maven build. Uh, let me make it a bit more readable. So, module pass to JavaFX library, add modules, JavaFX, and then uh, controls FX ML. Let's run it. Okay, now we are using JavaFX uh, external library. Let's build Java file. We call it as artifax. Okay. There's nothing to change, same as uh, previously when I built uh, the Java file with uh, Maven build. Okay, let's uh, save delete. Let's build artifacts, which is Java file using uh, IntelliJ native build with external JavaFX 19 libraries. Okay, let's open it. With uh, in Windows Explorer, double click, it should work. Same as uh, right now, 3 11 pm, it works. We are going to continue build.exe.msi files based on jar. So make sure you can use JPackage on the command line. I'm using Java version 19.0.2 and uh, make sure you have already installed um, okay, Wix uh, toolset. Then you are using uh, JavaFX J modes.
once you have them all, then we are ready to create uh, .exe. Let's open it in the uh, terminal. Okay, this is where we have uh, JavaFX Java file. So let's type JPackage. Type, I'm going to use default exe input current directory reporting to a Java file. Destination, I'm going to create a, a .exe file in this same directory. So I will just say a current directory. Main jar. Java FX, Hello World, Docha, Main Class, this is going to be on the package, then my main class is app, so dot com, So it will become dot example dot java hello world dot app module pass. This is the way you're going to report to um, Java FX J modes. Let me copy the pass, paste it with the double quotations because there is a space with this in the pass. Add modules. I'm using two JavaFX modules, controls, then uh, JavaFX, FXML. You may like to have a Windows shortcut on your desktop. Then you may add um, Java op JavaFX application on your menu, Win menu. It may take a few um, minutes. Okay, let's say uh, two, three minutes. Please wait. Once it's done, you should be able to see a command line. Then you need to go to uh, artifacts folder, and then you can refresh. We are using default exe. Okay, here you go. You, once you click it, it says the name of the pro program is app. That's the same as your class name and then version 1.0. Opening in uh, Windows Explorer. Now we have an app 1.0. I will show you how to change the version later on. Okay, this will take a bit of time because it's going to set up. Then uh, we will install um, everything on the app directory on Windows. Okay, it will take a, a bit of time, maybe two, three minutes. Please wait. Here you go. We have a desktop shortcut. Here is the JavaFX uh, Hello World using JavaFX 19. Also, we have a menu. Okay, app is added to menu. Let's go to C Drive, Program Files on the app. There is a app exe. There's the original Java file. And then uh, runtime so that you don't really have to um, have a Java or Java FX installed on your uh, destination system. Okay, next one I'm going to show you how to change to be MSI.
and then let me cover a couple of other options. You can change the name of uh, application. By default, it's going to use same as your class name. So let me change to my app. Your app version, we can change to be 1.1. .1. Default is 1.0. Description, you can set your own. I will say Java FX 19. Hello World app. Again, it's going to take two, three minutes to uh, uh, create an installation file. Okay, that's the one. Uh, instead of uh, 1.0, we are using uh, 1.1. Okay, file will be created as a uh, my app dash 1.1 dot msi. Meantime, let's go to settings. You can actually remove um, apps from your settings. It should be alphabetic order. As you can see, this is a 1.0. You can uninstall it from your desktop. Okay, it's gone. So it is already here. 1.1. Let's open it with a Windows Explorer. We assume that this is a new PC. Uh, we are going to install my app. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. This time we call it as a My App. It's on the uh, M, so let's say My App. This time I'm going to launch from the Windows menu. Here you go, it works. Settings, Apps. Yes, you can install uninstall from uh, Windows. Here is the one my app 1.1. You can uninstall it if you want to. Okay, there are other options available with the J package. I will uh, make a link to my old tutorial which has a bit more uh, details informations. I think that's all for today. Thank you.